Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Aperture. In our previous video, we have already seen the basic concept regarding how Kubernetes networking and service discovery works. In our, in our previous video, we have already seen the basic concepts regarding the Kubernetes networking and service discovery. In this video, we are going to see the actual live demo of the same. So let's get started. For this particular demo, I'll be using a PHP guestbook application, which is a web-based application. And it also requires a Redis as database. So here we already have uh, some manifest file, some YML file for uh, creating deployments and services. So first of all, we will need a database deployment up and running and also a database uh, service for Redis. We will be using here a master slave architecture of Redis. So there will be a master Redis deployment, a master uh, service, then slave deployment of Redis and a slave and a slave Redis service. Here is the code for Redis master deployment the API version and here we are choosing the kindest deployment we are giving the name Redis master so API version is apps v1 the kindest deployment this is the uh, Redis master deployment and the name of it is Redis master we have given it some labels then we have certain selectors these selectors are the selector which, uh, which will be used by the service to forward the request to this deployment pods we are saying that we only need one replica that is only one pod and then you have container specification you are giving the name you are giving the image then the resources how much cpu and memory you want and then the port of the container that is 637 which is the default port for the redis this is our redis master deployment uh, yml i already have it so I just need to apply it so kubectl apply hyphen f redis master deployment dot yml file so I'm just applying it it will create the required containers and pod it will create the required pod for our deployment similarly we will create the slave deployment and the service for master and slave so I'm doing kubectl apply hyphen f redis master service and kubectl apply hyphen f redis slave deployment dot yml kubectl apply hyphen f redis slave service dot yml and then let us also deploy the front-end application so kubectl apply hyphen f front-end deployment so we are we have created deployment and we are going to expose the deployment with a service so let's create the deployment first then then we are going to create front-end service so we have created all the required things we have uh, three port for our front end and then one port for our redis master and two port for our redis slave and then there are services deployments so meanwhile it is in a uh, creation state because it is not yet created container are still getting created let us uh, have a walk through the code now, since we have created Redis master deployment, we need a service to expose it. We have a manifest file for service, kind is service and the name is Redis master. This is the name which will be used by the web application. Web application container will have the host as Redis master and the web application container will seek the cube DNS service. It will ask cube DNS service to provide the IP for Redis master and Redis master is the name of the service and then we have certain labels and then the name and the port the main thing here to note is the Redis master because the web app will be using this Redis master to act 
to get the IP. Now let us see the code of this application. This is the code of the application, the front end application which is in PHP. If you see guestbook.php file, here the host of the Redis is Redis master. So it is already set here and if we, we can also specify the environment variable but here we are using the service name. So in the front end application that is at the guestbook PHP application, we have specified the name of the host is to be Redis master. And as you can see here the Redis master service name is Redis master. So this is how uh, you can use the service name inside the inside your application and that will get resolved that host will get resolved using cube DNS service this is the code for redis master service similarly we have redis slave deployment file here the kind will be deployment name is redis slave and you have provided the image and the resources the configuration here is pretty much simple if uh, you don't know the difference about deployment service pods replica set then I recommend you to watch one of our video related to this that will clear your concept regarding the difference between these. The link you can find in the description section of this video. Once we have Redis uh, slave deployment, we need to create its service. So the type will be service and you can provide labels and selectors. Finally, we are going to create our frontend deployment.yml that is our frontend application. First, we need to create one deployment and then we will create a service for it. This is the deployment part. You have given some selector labels. We have said that we need three pods for this and then the template of the container. So this is the image and uh, these are the resources that you are giving and you are exposing the port 80. Then we are going to create the front end service. This is the service. You have given certain labels and you have given the type node port because you want to expose this service to the outside world outside the Kubernetes so that we should be able to access it through the browser. If by default it is cluster IP, if you don't provide any type it will take cluster IP and cluster IP is used for the internal communication. So the service will be exposed internal and within the cluster, which is why we have uh, given the type node port here. Once you have these files in place, you just need to apply them. Once you apply, you can do kubectl get service or kubectl get all. Once everything is up and running, let us see if uh, we have all of them up and running. So yeah, the front end is running. Everything looks good. The deployment also, all of them are ready. The replica sets and also the pods. To get the IP of the application, you need to run minikube service and the service name that is front end hyphen hyphen URL. So let's run this. Let's check all the services. So kubectl get all is the command and we can see that the fronted service pod is also running as well as the redis. So let's uh, fetch the IP of this web application. Command is minikube service and the service name front end and its URL. This will give us the URL on which we can access the web application. Here is the URL. Okay, here is our web application up and running on Kubernetes cluster. This is just a messaging application where you can say, you can, you can write the message and simply submit and it will get stored. And even if you refresh it, the message will persist in the Redis database. This is how service discovery works in Kubernetes using Kube DNS service. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.